Hi everybody and welcome to the orientation blackboard video for introduction to fire service. This is just going to be a brief video that's going to walk you through some of the various different areas within this blackboard course. Uh, hopefully this walkthrough will make navigating through the course a little bit easier. Uh, the first section that you're going to uh, come across whenever you click on this course is going to be the announcement section. Uh, normally these announcements go directly to your email. Uh, yes, you should remember to be checking your student email on a regular basis. However, if for some reason it doesn't show up in your email, uh, I would suggest checking Blackboard at least once a week uh, to see if there's been any new announcements. This is a good place for your instructor um, to make any revisions if they need to or to remind you about any upcoming assignments or readings. Uh, the next section that you can navigate to is instructor information. This is a biography of your instructor and also some contact information from them. Uh, you've got his phone number extension and his email address. Uh, in this particular case, Rob Wilson has provided a paragraph just explaining what his experience is as a police officer and a firefighter, uh, and as well talking about some of the things um, about why he's a teacher and what he's excited about in this course. Uh, the next section, a very important uh, section before you start up with the course, uh, is to make sure you've read all of the different things in the About Course section. Uh, you've got uh, the course outline. This is a good thing to print off and keep on file. It's good for transferability and, and various different things like that. Uh, course syllabus contains a lot of really useful information. You'll want to read that carefully. Uh, and your course calendar as well also contains a list of all the different uh, dates and the corresponding topics, assignments, and readings, etc. So a good idea to take a look at all those and not only take a look at them, but to print off copies of those as well. In the weekly learning section, this is where you're going to find uh, the content that uh, you'll have to go through on a week-to-week -week basis. Uh, the weeks are set up uh, all in the same way, so I'll just take you through one of them and, and you can be uh, rest assured that the rest of them are, are usually in the same format as well. For instance, if we click on week two, orientation of the fire service, click on this folder and this is going to take us to the content here. Uh, in week two, we have uh, an introductory video, so make sure to take the time to watch this video. There's lots of relevant information in this video that's going to be important. Uh, a brief uh, textual introduction here, a list of the learning ob objectives. These are always important to consider. Here's the different things that you're going to be able to do or you're going to be expected to do after the completion of this week. Uh, a weekly to-do list and some in-class preparation as well for the in-class pr uh, portion of this course. Uh, as well, you've got a couple of lessons here to watch through. So lots of good content in here. Make sure that you're taking the time each week to go in here to watch the videos, to click on any links. Um, here's your assignment. Uh, you can use this drop box to submit your assignment. Uh, here's the instructions for the assignment. You can click on this PowerPoint in order to see what you're expected to do. And once you're ready with the assignment, once you've created it, you can click on this link here. And this is going to give you the chance to browse your computer, to upload an assignment, uh, and then to submit it. And once it's submitted, uh, then you'll know that uh, the assignment has been completed. So that's an update on week learning. I'm just going to take you back to week two again quickly. Uh, I think there was more, one more content item in there. So you had your assignment down near the bottom, and then you also had a summary. So each week will contain some sort of introduction, uh, the learning objectives. It'll have uh, the weekly learning content, your videos, your articles, etc. It might have an assignment or a test. There'll be some sort of learning activity, and then it'll summarize the content here for you. So make sure that you're going through each week carefully and keeping on top of it on a week-to-week -week basis. And... Um, one more thing to point out here, you have notes here as well. So when you click on this icon, it's going to bring up a PDF, essentially. Uh, now, when you open it up right now, it's just a web browser. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to actually, in order to write your notes in here on the computer, you're going to have to download a copy, save it somewhere, perhaps to your desktop, save it, whatever you want to call it. And once you're done with that, you can go and you can find the PDF. You can open it up and then you're going to be able to edit and save the content in here. Very important that just clicking on it within Blackboard is not going to be able to allow you to save it. You need to download the file in order to be able to uh, input information into there. So that's basically a walkthrough of the weekly uh, learning activities and then you have your assignments as well.
So your assignment section here will contain your various different assignments, similar to the other one that I just showed you. When you click on one of these links, it'll take you to the assignment drop box. You can browse your computer, find the assignment, upload it, and then submit it. And that will automatically uh, submit your assignment to your instructor. So this is just a very brief uh, breakdown of how to go through the Blackboard course. I hope it's been helpful for you. Uh, your instructor, Rob Wilson, has spent a lot of time making this a very uh, engaging online learning environment, and I hope you all enjoy it. Take care.